at the One Punch Boxing Promotions Gym. Who is that, you say? Well, that's Nick Sitiar and Roy Cruz. You will hear these names a little more in the coming weeks and in the coming years. Why in the, in the coming weeks? Because October 5th, a big day for these guys. October 5th, Amway Center, Cotto Rodriguez card. Hmm. Neither one of these rep Cotto, right? But they do rep some undercard fighters that are going to set Amway Center on fire. Who are we talking about? Clarence, the truth booth. You've heard me interview him before. You've seen him devastate other opponents. And Moises Carrasquillo, both out of One Punch Boxing Promotions Gym. And let me tell you, if you haven't seen these fighters, Bring it home locally here in Florida. You're going to see it on the big stage. Where am I talking about? HBO. Yes, that's on the Cotto Rodriguez card, October 5th. So I decide to drive over here and see what the heck is going on in this Boilermaker here. Hey, Nick, how you doing? What's Hi, going so on behind these doors right. right now, Nick? Right now, Clarence Booth is preparing to fight a softball by the name of Xavier Burgos from Miami, 72, quality fighter. And to prepare for a quality fighter, we need quality sparring. The best softball, in my opinion, in Florida, not just my opinion, a lot of people's opinion, is none other than Amos Coward. Too smooth. Um, my thing is, this guy is not as quick as Amos, not as strong as Amos, so therefore we'll be ready, we'll be prepared. And for that, I, I owe a lot of depth of gratitude to, a, to a Roy Cruz because he's going to get us ready. Now, before we go over to Roy, did uh, Amos not spar with uh, Claudio Marrero, who just uh, appeared uh, on, on the main stage as well? Talk a little bit about the preparation for that fight, even though Claudio was not successful. Well, that's indicative of the quality of fighter that Amos really is. He went up against a top-ranked, rated fighter. And I think, from, my, from what I've heard, um, Amos did a very good job sometimes too much sparring may be too bad because it may have a cumulative effect. Uh, it may have shown in the fight. Uh, Marrero's clearly a quality fighter. But likewise about Amos, one thing I love about this kid, if you watch him, sometimes he's a little bit too aggressive. He doesn't respect anybody's power. So if you go up against Amos, you know, you got to expect to bring it because he brings power, speed, agility. <laughs> the truth booth Roy uh, this is man this is a marquee fighter if you'll uh, remember I talked about Clarence sparring Keith Thurman prior to uh, both his Jan Zavik wins and uh, and the latest win on Showtime talk about Clarence the truth booth I mean there's not much to say about Clarence I mean this kid is just phenomenal I mean he's I mean he's everything in a fighter I mean strong I mean welterweight there's gonna be a lot of welterweights that are gonna have trouble with this kid I mean it, He's just, I mean, he's just phenomenal. Keith Thurman talked about his conditioning and also how he comes at you like a football player. He's very, his physicality, in other words. Oh, yeah, he's strong. He's, he's physically strong. I mean, you, it, when you see him, I mean, when you see the kid without a shirt on, I mean, you're just like, wow. I mean, the physical uh, ability of this kid, I mean, his physical appearance, and the kid is just, I mean, he's, he's a monster. I'm a personal trainer, and I was impressed. Uh, you know, it, it's not your normal boxer six-pack. I mean, this is, this is uh, to quote the Mayweathers, hard work, dedication. Gotcha, Floyd. Okay, so, you know, this is what we talk about, the one-punch boxing gym, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, we, we do a lot. You know, um, like I said, you know, not only do we, you know, not only am I the promoter as far as, you know, the one-punch boxing promotion management and Nick, you know, we're actually trainers. I mean, you know, Nick is actually the head trainer of Clarence the Truth Booth and myself, you know, of Amos Colwert, you know, and... I mean, this is, this is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not just a part-time job for us now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's continuous training with these guys, getting them prepared, getting them prepared for the big stage like October 5th, the Delvin Rodriguez. <laughs> There's a lot of, now I don't call you guys small time promoters, but smaller promoters. You're not a top rank, you're not a golden boy, but you are on the rise. How did you get this opportunity? Who wants to speak up on this? Well, I actually introduced myself to Brian Perez, uh, one of the uh, high ranking officials of Coda Promotions. Initially, my interest was just to get sparring for my fighter, Clarence Booth. We got to talking. He said, listen, we're from a local, we're basically from Orlando. Uh, we have a large fan base. I gave him a list of names. 
And from there, I asked Brian, do me a favor, just do your homework. See what you heard. I mean, ask people from Orlando. Ask people from St. Pete. And to his credit, he did his homework. I got a call about Clarence. I got a call about Moises. And they were really excited. They said, yeah, we want these two kids. We want these two kids. I think pretty much uh, uh, they actually reached out to us. And uh, you mentioned the last show in St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. I think that was the segue to it. All right. Uh, if you look at Fight News, you're reporting by yourself. All right. Check out, out my video. Right. <laughs> it's out there. Um, Bombs Away at the Bay is the name of that video. Just YouTube it and you'll, you'll see. And also, he actually did research on the, uh, our show in Orlando. Again, another successful show. You, he was able to be pretty much realize, hey, these kids got a following. Mm -hmm. All right, we don't need to advertise them because right, their people are going to come to us. And it, it just made sense. Uh, I, I talked to Roy about this because we were thinking about obviously putting our show around that area, but mm -hmm. you couldn't turn that opportunity down, obviously, on such a big stage. Oh, absolutely. And then talk about, Roy, the opportunity for now um, with this fight um, and One Punch Promotions, where this can take you. One fight. Just like, I mean, let's go back a few weeks back in August with Sergey, a uh, uh, perfect example, Sergey Kovalev uh, in the ring with Nathan Cleverly, okay? Uh, who knew that now the whole world knows who uh, Kovalev is? He's now Crusher Kovalev. And, of course, led by the great John David Jackson. So shout out to you, uh, JDJ, down there in the MIA. Um, but this is what it can do. It can catapult a fighter into a whole nother realm. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, and that's the thing, you know, like Nick said, you know, I mean, some of these shows that we had, you know, that have been very, very successful. I mean, the fan base that we that we bring, you know, these fighters, I mean, they want to be seen. I mean, people want to see the kind of fights that these guys, because they're action-packed fighters. They never put on a boring fight, and I think that's why we've been so successful. And also, it is time for uh, the boxing world to get out of the mindset that big fights can only happen in Vegas, New York City, or Atlantic City. This is HBO, going to be proving Roy grounds one punch promotions and Kodo promotions at the Amway Center for this huge card. It's going to be a big night, and what it's going to show is that Florida can sustain a healthy pro boxing community. Yes, guys? Absolutely. And right down the road, we've got Iron Mike Productions, which is now gearing up. That's true. Uh, we're collaborating with them. They know the quality of our fighters. Uh, but one thing about our fighters, which I love them, um, they're loyal to us. 